Hello everyone and welcome to the ever-evolving monstrosity that is Mammoth Gardens. One day we hope to have this place filled with beautiful high-rises and tons of people and beautiful botanical gardens, of which we can grow right now, by the way. But for now, we're trying to handle this big traffic jam and I'm hoping this really scary random ramp slope that we built off the highway that goes up for absolutely no reason other than to go up super high um, I'm hoping this will ease traffic up. What I want is for the heavy traffic to start figuring out that it can come this way. Tell me there's not an intersection on the highway. Are you kidding me? No, dude. I just want the trucks that can go this way to go this way. And so what we're going to do to prevent these guys from coming this way to what they perceive as the easier path than whatever this is. Um, I'm gonna try to ban heavy traffic here. <laughs> I'll make this a property of Spruce Heights and ban heavy traffic through Spruce Heights. And then we can try to make- oh no, a house is on fire! Yay, the fire people are already there rescuing them! Oh, that's so good to see. But yeah, so is anyone using this thing yet? You can use it to get out of town, you can use it to get in town. It's probably a giant mistake. Can I just put a roundabout? Is that something you do on a highway? I don't know. I'm so unfamiliar with roundabouts. I'm like, does one roundabout on the highway? I have no idea. I think that would just make it even worse. <laughs> but let's try this. Let's try banning heavy traffic here um, and just carrying... We'll, we'll upgrade the roads down here in the ice cube factories and just seeing if that helps. So let's try that out. All right, Spruce Heights, and I feel like Walnut Spokes is just a mistake left, right, and center. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's a lot of mistakes going on here right now. <laughs> it's so embarrassing, um, but it's also fun. It wouldn't be so embarrassing if I didn't have to share it with the world, you know what I mean? But then, you know, I, I like hanging out with you guys. So let's come into Spruce Heights and let's enact some policies. Um... When it comes to city planning, we're going to do a heavy traffic ban. Ban heavy traffic on an area, make sure there are optional routes available. And there are optional routes available, you know, elsewhere. Just get out of my city right here. So that should help. Spruce Heights, what area do you cover? Are you, like, there's a giant hole here. Why is there a giant hole in Spruce Heights? No, Spruce Heights! You're supposed to spread like this. Eat that spot up. There you go. There you go. And we'll, we'll eliminate that part because we do want them to be able to use the roundabout but let's see what happens if we ban heavy traffic in this area let's see if they utilize this other route which we will improve so let's try making this a bigger road I really didn't think I would get so obsessed with these freaking roads I thought I would be much more focused on like the details but man the roads really are the lifeblood of the city so you end up really, really starting to pay intricate attention to how they do and what they're doing. Alright, get out of here you guys! A group of renegade archaeologists discovered that pyramids are indeed landing platforms for space ships. That sounds amazing, my little tweeter. Okay, it looks like the heavy traffic is lightening up over here. Maybe, or it could be my imagination. I'm sorry about the trees. It happens. Get away! What are you guys doing here? You shouldn't be here. You should be up here. <laughs> Where are they coming from? Okay, they're actually coming from the other highway. That's the problem. So that's another thought I had. So can I make this road, like, loop up and over here? All right, this is gonna be so bad. <laughs> this is just gonna be terrible. Okay, slope too steep. Okay, let's ease it up a little bit. Can you just go, oh, I didn't have to make it as deep as I made it, oh, or as steep as I made it. Now I feel silly. All right, and then can I just like, okay, and now I'll come down, ah, invalid shape. Am I seriously doing this? I'm seriously doing this. That shouldn't be a two-lane road. That shouldn't be a two-lane road. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is happening? Okay, can I upgrade you? This should be like a one-way that direction. 
cannot upgrade road to this type because I want it to be like a one way. Okay, let's see what the heck happens if I do that. I don't even know what this monstrosity is. I don't know what I have created. I don't know what has been wrought upon my poor city, but it's clearly somewhere that none of the trucks are interested in going. So that's a fail. <laughs> I hope you guys learn from my horrific errors that this is absolutely just, yeah. Okay, let's try this again with a one-way street. Um, there, there was a truck who looks like he got lost over there, to be honest. He's just like, I don't know what I'm doing here. Let's get rid of that. I wonder if I should just get rid of this and like make it a bigger thing. Would that help? Is that what's slowing it down? I feel like what's slowing it down is when they all get here and then they just get jammed up no matter what I do. So they need to get like an alternative route in where they can go. And I'm trying to build that for them to try to like twist everybody who's trying to come down to all this industry over to like use this spot instead and leave my my middle town area alone and now there's abandoned places because we don't have enough workers and residential is just oh my goodness i love it it's like the most involved and and focused that you can get you're just like this isn't working and this isn't working but it's so fun it just makes you focus even harder all right so let's have a one-way street that i mean we'll do this why not we'll try it again all right we're gonna have a one-way street that just comes this way. Hello, everybody. Hello. In fact, we'll start before the little pretty trees. And let's see. Space already occupied. Thank you for letting me know about that. Okay, that's fine. Um, freaking trees. Those band-aid trees are actually causing problems. So away they go. Get out of here, band-aid trees. Get out of here. You're a one-way that way. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, why did I make you too big again? Oh my gosh. This is what I get for never paying attention to roads, but it's, like I said, I, it's so, you just get into it and you're like, okay, this road has to go here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, this is a three lane. Okay, I'm looking at a six lane. Two lane. There is no, no, no middle ground there. It really is just this. That's fine. Okay, fine. You have it your way. You have it your way. All right, and you can, you, mm, 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 mm. don't you fuss with me. Can go there. Okay, so that's happening because it is happening. And then I guess we'll just like split it off somehow. It's like, hello, this is an off ramp. Let's make it a two lane off ramp, I guess. That should be fine. Like a two lane, two lane off ramp should be totally fine. And then you use page up to just like improve the sizing or and make the height on the slope a little better. Space already occupied. Can I, if I page it up, will that help? No, 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 we're not gonna connect it right there. That's not the plan. All right, over here. How did I manage to wiggle it this way? I managed to wiggle it this way and I was so excited and I was like, I did it, yay. All right, well, there's the whole thing bring out like tyrant siri at this rate because it's like oh, okay you guys are just not working slope too steep slope too steep okay you're gonna have to deal with it because oh my gosh look at the way the road is just dusting <laughs> i know this space is already occupied curse you okay let's try this again no i don't want it going two ways it needs to be a one one way road one way road going this way okay now go up, thank you, and go up, thank you. Come on, do this, do this for me. You want to go here, you want to be a large, proud highway. You know it's true. It's too steep, it just can't, it can't handle. Oh, wait a second. So if I go down, okay, hang on guys. I, I think it's because this this middle part right here that shows up over here doesn't have enough room. How did I make it have enough room? Oh my gosh, it did it for just a second. <gasps> okay, there, okay. Oh my gosh, I'm willing to knock down factories to make this work. Um, there? <gasps> yes! Victory will be mine! Page down, page down, quick. All right, page down. 
and I don't know what's gonna happen over here, but it's probably not gonna be pretty for this road. Sorry, road. There we go. It's so terrible. It's so terrible, it's beautiful. It's like a snake with a very bad hiccup. <laughs> a very bad kink. A snake that got yanked around a little bit in life. Um, now we're gonna have to have like the normal road connect the two up. And then we're gonna have to have another one way go this way. Unfortunately, space already occupied. That's because you guys are being dum-dums. Okay, hang on. I thought I would be able to get this all fixed before we came back, so I uh, apologize for this, you guys. Because it's not fixed. It's really scary, to be honest. Alright, let's get a straight road. Uh, right there. Oh, that poor truck. That truck is like, thank goodness, I'm back on solid ground. Straight road right there. There we go. And then people can turn that way or that way. Good. I like where that's going. And let's go ahead. Page up. Page up. Okay, let's just okay, slope too steep. Page up. Um, slope too steep. Oh, what's that? What? Huh. That would take them back off. But then they just like do a giant loop to loop. That doesn't do any good for me. That doesn't do any good at all. No. I, I refuse your giant loop to loop. <laughs> Alright, well, you know, while I'm trying to figure this out, um, I'm trying to think of like any interesting traffic stories to tell you. Uh, I didn't get my driver's license until I was 26. Did you guys know that? I was terrified. They show like these really violent, gory uh, TV sh They show these like really violent, gory videos in my home state of like people who die because they they get killed in traffic accidents and it scared me so badly that I didn't cross the street that day when I got home and my mother was so upset because she had just been about to convince me that I should learn how to drive and that day like after that day I was too scared to learn how to drive for ages. My younger sister learned how to drive before I did because she was like, heck yeah, I want the freedom. I want to be able to go out with my friends. And my parents tried everything to like convince me to give it a try. Like we're going to give this a try. And I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, I'm not, I'm not doing it. All right. I put a heavy traffic ban on this area, but let's see what happens. It looks like some of the vehicles are choosing to use this path. I guess these guys just have a way to get back on. They don't have a way to get... Other than coming down here, I'm not directing traffic from this area anywhere differently, am I? Hmm. Hmm. I don't suppose... Can we make, like, an alternate route right there? But yeah, my younger sister was so excited to learn how to drive that she just took off. She is like, yeah, man. Um, I have no problem with this. And then here I was, the older sister, and I was like, uh-uh. What are you trying to do? I'm not, I'm not driving. Are you nuts? Do you see what happens when people drive? And so, like, I was 21 when I finally, uh, my parents put their foot down and they were like, you're learning how to do this. <laughs> my mother was not amused that it had taken me so long. And my dad was tired of hauling my butt around to jobs. And really, looking back, that's, that's true. Like, it's, it's, your, your 21 year old does not need to have like your father drive you like you're going to, to middle school or something. But I was just terrified. The idea of taking responsibility for getting behind the car, it just overwhelmed me. I was like, are you kidding? I could like really seriously hurt someone. What if someone dies? Brr. Okay, let's try this. Can I come out this way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> Ooh, merge, merge. You beautiful thing. Is that, is that a one-way? This needs to be a one-way road, though, okay? Like, no joke, you guys. Don't do those intersection things. I want this to be a one-way from here to here. Okay, I had to destroy it. We made that beautiful thing. And now we have to destroy it. But that's okay, because we're just gonna gently... Okay, come on. Oh, you glorious piece of glory. Work, I beg you. Alright, we'll just let it run for a minute. Come on, I want the heavy vehicles gone from this area. <gasps> you 
Look down here. We still have a little bit of traffic and they're still like going to the bread bakery and ready sliced fruits. Oh my gosh, but look! They're starting to like move and groove out over here. And just take off. Take off, vroom vroom. <gasps> vroom vroom, you guys, we did it. Oh my goodness, I think putting that ban on heavy traffic down here and scooching everybody in this really weird thing. <laughs> now it's developed so much traffic over here though, because the heavy traffic is like, I'm trying to get back where I'm supposed to go. I'm headed to the lumber company. Hmm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Let's add some more roads over here, you guys. It's a traffic day. But yeah, the one time my mom did try to teach me how to actually uh, drive, it didn't end well because I didn't know that you're supposed to use your blinker. And uh, so I didn't use my blinker when I was like changing lanes and I almost like got hit from behind by a car. And my poor mom was so scared and she was so freaked out. She just kept like, you could have killed us. What were you doing? Like she was just completely 100% freaked out. And I don't blame her for getting so upset, but then her getting upset freaked me out even more. And I was like, I knew this was a bad idea. I could have killed everyone. This is why I should never, like, have anything to do. Why did I use that giant freaking road? What is that? <laughs> why are there all these abandoned buildings? But yeah, I almost, I almost got, my siblings were in the car, my mom was in the car, and I just had such a sense of intense responsibility and guilt that I could have accidentally hurt them out of my ignorance because I hadn't ever driven like on the highway. We were just going to the mall and I was so sick with the idea that I could have hurt my family through my ignorance of how to drive. I was like, uh-uh, I'm not doing this again. And so I refused <laughs> for the next three years. <laughs> and I don't remember what the breaking point was. I think it was actually when my, my uncle unexpectedly passed away, he was very young when he passed away, so it was exceptionally unexpected. But when my uncle passed away, my dad realized that as sad as it was, if it was all right with their family, my family could really use another vehicle. Uh, specifically for me, because my dad was really tired of hauling my butt all over the place. And I was getting to a point in life where I was going to start moving and traveling. And, you know, you got to have some sense of independence to do that. So my dad, in his wisdom, contacted my aunt. And in her kindness, uh, she agreed to let me have her late husband's car. And I didn't realize at the time what a huge gift that was because now I get cars are beyond expensive. They're beyond expensive, which is why I don't know where there's so many of them on my roads right here. Um, but it was a huge gift and it's actually what's given me the ability to have the kind of life that I have now. And that's a horrible idea. Why did I do that? I'm going to make this so it's like a one way if you want to come over here, but it is not a freaking intersection. No, I'm not, I'm not doing an intersection. I'm learning intersections are evil and I'm beginning to understand why people do so many one-way roads in this, in North Carolina versus where I grew up in Missouri. There. Ah, ah. Wait, how are people gonna get down here? Oh, they're just gonna turn. Okay, and then they can do the thing. All right, let's see what happens. But yeah, so then my aunt was gracious enough, gave me her vehicle. I think that solved a lot of our issues right there too. Except down here. I don't even know what they're doing down here. But I know getting rid of... Man, my people can't decide if they like to support the industry or if they're pissed that I have this industry. <laughs> they're just, they're torn in two, they are. Uh, let's try upgrading. Can I upgrade these? Upgrade? 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 Can I upgrade this type? I think these are just left loose from before I managed to get over here. We needed to get rid of this intersection, I think. Um, if we make this a one way, would that help ease things up? Because I'll get rid of this intersection. And then if I get rid of this little area and just make it connect up like right here, would that help? Hmm. People are dying. What's happening? Crossroads and traffic. Crossroads and intersections that are too close to each other can cause congestion. Ah, oh, I see what's going on. All right, where's the crossroad? Okay, I'm going to defeat you. So we're defeating crossroads. All right, let's figure this out. Come here, you. 
Who's gonna go down? I think it's gonna be... I guess we could kind of make a mock-up one way by just making it go in a big circle right here. Let's try it, you guys. I don't know if it's gonna work. We're gonna make a mock-up one way. Like a mock-up roundabout, I mean. Yeah, I'm glad you guys are happy that I removed your like only way in and out of this area, but it's probably not a smart thing for you. Okay, there we go. Alright, we'll be nice and even put down Libby grass. Because why not? And let's try this. Ta-da! And now we have to try to mimic the horrible curved road I made earlier. Ta-da! Ta-da! Without destroying as much of an industry as possible. But it does need to be like a little one-way curve. Oh, that's terrible. I'm sorry. I don't have the right to call you anything remotely related to a curve. I wonder if that's gonna help anything. Um, and then just make like a normal road so people can pick. So bizarre, too steep. Wait, I think the whole reason we did that was to get rid of that intersection, actually. All right, let's just see what happens. Go, go, go! We have negative growth in our city. What is happening? Not good. All right, let's get industry plunked back down over here and over here and over here. We've removed so much of it. But yeah, so long story short, I didn't learn how to drive till I was 21. I finally got my car. Um, my family, because both my parents were disabled, um, and still are, when I was growing up, we lived on like church donations if we were lucky. And although I may no longer be religious myself, I am eternally grateful that they were there because we needed them. So let's go ahead and we'll just put a little bit of industry all along there and hopefully a lot will perk up. And a whole bunch of those places actually went out of business because they needed more homes. So let's try building some more houses actually. In fact, let's put this whole area, let's change this whole area from industrial, whoops, didn't want to do that, to residential down here. Actually, they were doing fine. So you guys can stay industrial. And I want to change all of you to residential. And I think we're going to get rid of walnut spokes because <laughs> it was just playing with, um, that was just kind of playing with a roundabout and it's silly now. So we'll get rid of walnut spokes and put down more residential. And we might consider putting down some areas over here too. It looks like there's a lot for the forestry industry to thrive on. And I feel like we should work on fleshing out the other half of Leafy Oak neighborhood because they could probably do with having a little bit more attention over here. So we'll work on that next time. And I'm trying to think if there's like a good finish to that random story I was telling you guys about my life. Um, but basically the bottom line is I was really scared. I was terrified of the obligation of driving. And I think I had a bit of a right to be that way because it's a big deal to take someone's life into your hands like that. But in the end, let's take that out. I think that's all. Look at how much it speeds things up immediately. Vroom, 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 vroom. In fact, we might even just take this one out. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm starting to kind of vaguely figure this out. Yes, see, that's what's so satisfying about getting things wrong. And that actually ties in with the end of my car story. I flunked my car exam twice because I was so, I had such intense anxiety while I was taking the test that I just freaked out. And that happens. What's going on over here? Chestnut residents. Why do they have little circles above their home? What's going on? Why are they? What's going on? Eh? Eh? What? Why don't they have things? Well, we'll figure out why they don't have things next time. But I flunked my my car exam learning how to drive twice and I was terrified because um, they have police officers who give you the exam and I just got really intimidated and I had super bad social anxiety at the time. Actually working over the years with you guys is how it's disappeared. Um, and I couldn't, I couldn't handle the idea of driving. It just petrified me. And so then you're having a test and you have test anxiety and it's an authority figure because it's a cop and it was just a giant mess. Kind of like this area is getting to be yet again. Moo cow fields, curse you, curse you. Um, but 
I tried and I tried again and when I was finally confident like I drove for hours with my dad who was very patient and like I would do something wrong and the car would honk at me and I'd be like what and he'd be like yeah honey you almost got us hit but it's okay next time you do this instead of yelling and it really helped <laughs> um so yeah just don't yell at your kids if they're gonna mess up at driving is it so scary <laughs> Oh no, and there's a little fire in my little house area. We're gonna try to get... We're losing population, so next goal is game population. And try, try again, guys, because the third time after I built up my confidence, I went back in, took the test, and I passed it just fine. And then I learned how to drive from there. Um, I drove on the highway for the first time. <laughs> for real, like on long distance two hour drive, uh, two years after I got my driver's license. So I was a very slow butter. And I think I could have been better if I had kind of had a push. And the thing is, you can't really have that push without someone helping you learn. So go gain more experience like I did. Knock down roads, put them back together. Just don't actually knock down real roads and real cars. When gaining more experience with driving, try it with a safe driver. Don't try it with um, pedestrians, please. <laughs> And I will see you guys next time where we are going to be expanding, expanding, expanding on housing because it is in high demand. So we'll start making some fun neighborhoods and try to find somewhere to put our botanical garden. Yay! And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.